What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing a new performance CDI and ignition coil on the Yerf Dog Spider Box. So I don't think this has ever been changed. Um, it is pretty loose in there and just flops. This rubber thing is kind of just dangling. And the coil has got some pretty ratty connections and um, this thing is just a floppy mess. So. We're going to uh, change those and see how it runs. Um, this was like like maybe 15 bucks on Amazon. I think one was 12 and the other one was like 15 or something. Um, but it was less than $40 total. So we're just going to uh, see what happens. I'll put the link in the description below. Not really expecting anything wild. It says racing performance on it, but... I don't really know. I don't know if that's going to change the torque curve or how it runs or anything like that, but we'll find out. Hey guys, I'm going to start by replacing the ignition coil. So I'm going to pop that off. You can see it's all crappy and janky, so it's probably original. And it looks like we have a single 10 holding it on. So it looks like it's an 8 millimeter. After all, four feet long, and let me grab the coil, nice and new and orange, now, assuming, it's going to plug in exactly the same. If it does, move all the dust and junk out of the way. Ooh, look at that orange. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, that's tight. Thread this back on. Or stick this back on that thread. There, there it goes. I think I'm gonna run a zip tie on here after. Alright, that's one part done. I'm gonna come over here to CDI box. And I'm just going to make some room for myself. This is the starter plugs wire. This is the electric choke. That's all out of the way. That's the throttle that I need to zip tie. Okay. That's clapped. Um... See how this unplugs. Pull the ear. Oh, yeah. Pull the little ears out. Most likely that's original. I'm gonna hang on to it because I don't really know anything about this thing. So, so we're gonna take our little plug, plug that in. Big plug. Plug that in. I'm probably gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spread these open and maybe zip tied or something. Yeah, because right now it doesn't. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna zip tie that. So, what I'm gonna do is just hook everything back up and make sure that it <clears throat> starts with the new parts because it did run excellent before so that's all connected
is idling a little high. Previous owner put a pro circuit muffler on this thing. It sounds so good. Well, looks like it wants to take off on us here. Idle screw is all the way out. This uh, CDI made a difference in ignition coil because that thing's got some friggin' power to it now. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I'm just gonna uh, zip tie this up and pretty that up. Oh, what's going on here? So I turned the idle screw up. Um, I had it adjusted pretty, pretty almost all the way out because it seemed like it was idling high, but it stalled out the first time after a minute. But I'm gonna do some fine tuning and I'd have to now that we have the brakes working and everything again. Dude, that's freaking loud. We need to we need to fix the chain. The chain looks like she's a little loose. Get the back, guys. Zip ties ain't gonna Yeah. All right. So we're gonna uh, button this up. Just gonna throw a zip tie on here. I think we took the rubber underneath it, and I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see if this gets hot or anything. Of course, it's just a hair short. Friggin' gay. So I guess we're just gonna test this. I don't know if this thing gets hot. I guess we're gonna find out. Till I can come up with a better mount. Mounting solution for it. Zip tie the wiring down. These I tucked into the little. You gotta put another one spot. on here, right? Probably should, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a twist. Like this, this is looking at like this. Yeah. Like this. Oh, that's a flappy noodle. I don't really know where it was, honestly, I don't remember. Did you cut a zip tie that it was on or no? Not that I remember. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I can see them. Recording on my phone this video, the last video. I forgot my camera at the house, so. No 25G you'll have to do. Annoying part is, is it's probably going to have much better video and audio, but what are you going to do, right? There you go. That looks pretty good. We got some uh, steel. We're going to have to make a new bolt for this thing. Yeah. So we'll... Those two. we got these uh, knobby tires that were already in this video and the last video, so it makes no sense to... One. So we got some new tires. We got Carlisle 16 by 8 by 7 in new 7 inch rims. The rims I got from uh, BMI Carts and Parts. Um, I also bought new Castle Bolts. Um, yeah, 16 by 8 by 7. It was 15 by 6 by 6. The bearings were just clapped. So they're they're much, much better. So 
Yeah, you're gonna need to order some backs with the, the kind of power yeah. it has now. Yeah, we're gonna uh, have to figure out something for the backs because the, I, I'm like dying to take it for a rip. We just freaking that CDI and that coil, like this thing zipped before. It was. It was quick. It was quick. But, but it, it still, it always kind of gave out a little bit. And like, I, I mean, don't. You'd stay on it, but you could feel it die as yeah. you're using it. I don't think this and, has a rev limiter anymore. Is that revs to the moon? Probably not. So, yeah. Well, if we I do, I don't know anything about this CDI. Uh, I don't either. Like I said, I got it off Amazon. <laughs> New racing CDI. Um, everything that I've seen said that it basically is going to just change the torque curve, and I'm sure replacing this ignition coil because it it didn't have the best spark prior. So. Um, in the first video, or the Will It Run video, we changed that plug to an NGK plug. So, there's not a whole hell of a lot left to, uh, swap out on this thing is in terms of electronics-wise. The stator, we can do that, and then, like, literally the starter. And that's, Which, I mean, that's it about starts, it. And the so. starting solenoid, it, it, but it, it starts, so. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the hell of it fires up, so, I mean, it fires up, no point in replacing it. Yeah, for now. No, we need to focus on the more important part: tires and lights, and then ripping. Yes. This thing. So what's uh what's going on the front, Tyler? Why don't you show him the ball joint? Show him the ball joint. Ah! Yeah. Ah! That uh will probably be the next. Be video. the next this video. Is, you could feel it. Oh yeah. Especially when we had the small tires on it, just uh. It's terrible. To break in the brakes. This this thing. It's you know, so it bad. Slime. When we slime the yeah, rear tires. It's so we bad. Had these little, what were they, like eight inch tires? Not even. They're like. They were like the size of these rims. Yeah. And uh, you could feel yeah, the oh tire. Yeah, God, balance. look at that. That is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. We have brand new ones. They're behind Tyler. Yeah. That's going to be, be the next nice. video. But um, if we do if we do take this for a, a short, brief ride without tearing up anything, then it'll be in this video. All right, guys. We're gonna take it for a quick ride. We got a GPS. <laughs> and of course, steering still sucks. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Oh, hey, guess what? We have brakes. Did it work? Yeah. Nice. It's important, right? <laughs> Everybody's probably gonna watch this. Like, what the fuck are these idiots doing? <laughs> Adjustment to the uh, idle. <laughs> Got it out. Yeah. I'll go through that dirt pile that fast anymore. No. What dirt pile? <laughs> that one. <laughs> they can see this time. <laughs> oh wow! It's killing. I told you. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Something these tires picked up. Dude, it's flinging at us. This steering, though. Yeah. I got a small yard. It's not huge, so. Alright. Go this way. Go wide? Yeah. And then open it up going up that hill. But don't go into the dirt. Just okay. wide open. Ready? Yeah. 
Hit 18 again. 18 again, huh? Yeah. And this free flow stretch? Yeah. A little chuck a little yard. Jeez, man. Look at Dude, these, look, look at these look freaking look tires are sweet. sweet. Hope we make it? Yep. Alright. It's your turn. Tyler's turn. Alright. Hot swap. Dude, why don't we ever done this dual recording before? It's his yard, so if he fucks, fucks up his yard, it's his fault, yeah. right? This <laughs> stays a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, it does. You just roll down our hill here. You're dangerous. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Woo! Yeah. So, what do we think of the Performance CDI and oh, the man. new uh, oh, coil? Yeah. You can feel a difference. You can definitely feel a difference. Oh, yeah. Um, we've never really had it wide open, like for a long stretch. We don't know really how fast it is, but it feels more. Um, I, what would you? Th what would that be called? Linear? It's not like an on or off. Like it no, like picks it, up and s it's smoothened it, out. Yeah, I would I would say best I'm way to describe after it. After 18, 20 miles an hour, it's gonna take a little while to, to hit, catch up to you know, speed. Thirty plus or whatever it yeah. tops out at. But yeah, guys. Yeah. The, we gotta uh, fix these ball joints though. Go ahead, wiggle that wheel. Yeah, it's so bad. We're gonna we're gonna change those next in the next video, and then. That steering is gonna get upgraded. We're gonna add more notches, but guys, stay tuned. This is only round one of performance upgrades. So, <laughs> what do you say, Tyler? All right, I think that's a wrap. Later. Well, that's that way. <laughs>